Dancing Fear Labs. I found some short introductory videos on Jordan Peterson's YouTube channel. I'm going to discuss one of the videos called Pay Attention and include some related views from Rudolf Steiner's Philosophy of Freedom. If you pay attention to the things that shine forth, because what you're seeing is the reality instead of the map, you're gaining access to the real information that's in the world. It's not prepackaged information, because that can be false. It's the real information flowing out from the ground of being. Jordan Peterson mentions two kinds of information, real information and prepackaged information. He says that if we pay attention to the reality that shines forth, we gain access to real information. He then warns us about prepackaged information that can be false. What is the difference between real information and prepackaged information? The source of real information is the real world. We gain knowledge in two ways, through observation and by thinking. We learn about something by observing it and describing its characteristics. Then we use thinking to analyze what we have observed to understand how it works and how it relates to other things. This learning process is disrupted if prepackaged information prevents us from seeing the real world. Also, if we naively accept prepackaged information, it can stop us from doing our own research and our own independent thinking. The source of prepackaged information is schools and universities when they cram information into students' heads. Prepackaged information is crammed into our heads throughout society. Attempts are made every day to distort our reality by product commercials, biased or completely fake news, censored social media, and the overpromising of politicians. Prepackaged information is complete without any need for us to observe the world or to think. It is easy to remain naive and blindly accept prepackaged information so we never have to do the research to confirm facts or make the effort to think independently. An inner awareness of the reactive mind show how prepackaged information distorts our reality by inserting itself between our being and the world. From a naive standpoint, he believes that he is dealing with real things. Inner reflection drives him away from this naive view. Then he no longer sees the reality naive consciousness claims is there spread out before us. Inner reflection reveals to him the ideas that insert themselves between his own being and a supposedly real world believed in by naive consciousness. Because of the intervening ideas, we can no longer see the real world. By waking up and becoming conscious of the prepackaged ideas that spring into our mind to distort reality, we are able to see the real world without the filter. If we allow false prepackaged information to bias our perception of the world, then we are not able to gain real information. We can prevent prepackaged ideas from coloring our reality by critically questioning our first impression. By becoming conscious of prepackaged ideas, they lose their power over us, so the real world shines forth. This is the reality we need to pay attention to. As Jordan Peterson says, then the real information flows out from the ground of being. The philosophy of freedom gives an example of how real information flows out from the ground of being. Does not the world cause thoughts in human minds with the same necessity as it causes blossoms on plants? Plant a seed in the soil. It puts forth root and stem. It unfolds into leaves and blossoms. Place the plant before you. It connects itself to a specific concept in your mind. Why does this concept belong any less to the whole plant than leaf and blossom? 
Jordan Peterson says that the real world shines forth. The illusion of false prepackaged reality does not shine forth in truth. By paying attention to the real world, we have access to real information. Acquiring real information is learning that will build our character and transform our goals. If you pay attention to that, it will help you move towards the goals that you've already established for yourself as a good citizen that are, that are part of the inbuilt value structure that you've adopted, but at the same time it will do something else. It will lead you to transform the nature of those goals. Because as you pursue the thing that guides your interest, and more and more information is revealed, then by absorbing that information, which is learning essentially, you build yourself into a different person, a stronger and more informed person, and a, and a more a more intact person, a person with more integrity and with more strength and with more direction. By acquiring knowledge, we become a stronger person, more informed, more intact, with more integrity, more strength, and more direction in our life. By continuing to learn, we live more and more in the real world. This learning transforms our character, gaining new information also allows us to make course adjustments in how we are pursuing our goal. At the same time, you differentiate your map and so you're living more and more in the real world. So as you approach your specific goal, even if it's a culturally conditioned goal, the learning that you do along the way transforms you and it transforms the nature of your goal. Rudolf Steiner says that when we understand the world, this knowledge allows us to orient ourselves within the world. When we understand our chosen field of work, this knowledge gives us the strength and conviction needed to be successful. Once we know what to make of the world, it will be an easy task to orient ourselves within it. We can act with our full strength and conviction only when we understand the things to which we direct our activity. Jordan Peterson and Rudolf Steiner's philosophy of freedom complement each other. Jordan Peterson is a living example of one person applying the theory of freedom presented by Rudolf Steiner. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos about Jordan Peterson and Rudolf Steiner's philosophy of freedom. <laughs>